What's going on, Spider-Man fans? This is Solid Dave Snake, bringing you a special Throwback Thursday action figure comparison video, and I thought to kick off my reviews of the Spider-Man Marvel Legend action figures, I would do a quick comparison of how the Spider-Man figures have evolved over the past 20 years, comparing this old 1992 Toy Biz Spider-Man to last year's newly released Amazing Spider-Man action figure. And these two are very similar costume wise. This Spider-Man out of the new movie which this action figure is based off of was the most accurate movie Spider-Man to how he looks in the comic book and it really reflected in this action figure and you can almost use him as your comic book Spider-Man in a lot of dioramas and setups. And of course Spider-Man, one thing that's always stayed consistent with Spider-Man action figures is his articulation. His always, they uh, have always tried to make it be really, really special and more articulated than other action figures. As is really noticeable with this new Spider-Man and even with this old Toy Biz Spider-Man. Back from 1992, this Spider-Man has a, a lot of articulation. And we'll take a quick look both these Spider-Man up close before we go over the articulation of this old one. I am going to do an individual review on this new Spider-Man tomorrow. This uh, Marvel Legends. But they both have the spider on the chest. The overall same suit design. Even down the legs. Although this movie Spider-Man is a lot br uh, brighter of a blue. Or I'm sorry, darker of a blue and this old one is a more brighter. But articulation wise, this old Spider-Man had a lot of neat articulation for the time. His head was on a ball joint which would rotate all the way around. And look a little bit down and a little back up. And he had an actual ball joint and hinge at the shoulders. And a hinge at the elbow. And a hinge at the wrist. Which on this side swivels in and out with that open hand. And with this side being the web slinger going up and down. And this figure even had a diaphragm joint, which is held together with a rubber band in there. So I'm surprised it's held up after all these years, but kind of goes back into position. He has a cut at the waist and some really nice leg articulation, but has become very loose over the years. Being able to kick all the way out and all the way up and single jointed knees and an actual joint at the foot which was very uncommon back then so neat old spider-man toy and a lot has changed over the years but they have stayed to his uh, core look and have always tried to give spider-man great articulation so stay tuned for this marvel legend review uh tomorrow guys catch you later